Winning gold in London comes with perks. For Michael Phelps, it meant a real-time congratulatory ad from one of his sponsors, Visa, when Phelps hit 19 medals and became the most decorated Olympian ever. And 19 medals later. The world hasn't stopped cheering. The support that I've been able to have throughout my career has been absolutely incredible. And, and you know, I can't thank Visa enough for supporting me through my journey. And, and, you know, to be able to have, you know, a congratulatory ad, you know, with Morgan Freeman in the background, it, you know, just sends chills up your body just thinking about it. Congratulations, Michael, from all. So this year, we not only had real-time footage from NBC that we embedded, but then we also embedded consumers generating cheers or, or offering up cheers for the athletes themselves. Nice of them to do that, right? Well, they are his sponsor. They won't release a dollar amount, but Phelps is thought to make millions in endorsements. But getting paid a hefty sum isn't always a cakewalk. Phelps had to work the press for Visa after his London competitions, answering the same questions over and over. Phelps teammate Ricky Behrens did a similar Meet the Press event pitching BMW's technology designed to assess and improve swimmers' dolphin kicks. This, this technology is something new to swimming and it's something that nobody else has and as, as U.S. athletes we're very lucky to have a little competitive advantage over everybody else. April Ross and Jennifer Kessie got silver in beach volleyball, but worked the press as well, pitching athletic gear maker 4.4 and their buy one, give one philanthropic business model. Their performance-based endorsement deal comes with support for generating infrastructure for volleyball in developing nations like Haiti. As an athlete, your your window is very small to make some money, but your all your window is very small to make a difference also, and that's kind of what April and I thought. And I've been doing this for 12 years and haven't really been able to do what I wanted. And now that my career in a couple years will be coming to a close, I might even have this in my future. Immediately was like, yes, this is this is perfect for us. It was almost kind of fate. And I usually don't feel that way about sponsorships. It's like um, you know, you want the relationship to work, but to be able to give back to people um, through what we're doing and accomplishing our goals, I mean, it's, it's, a dream, it's really a dream come true in a sponsorship. These two athletes chose, uh, you know, working with us, chose to give up to 30% of their endorsement dollars uh, to the philanthropies we support. So it's a performance-based deal like any endorsement deal, but the performance is having real-world impact in terms of philanthropy. Those Olympic athletes who already have or stand to get more endorsement deals also shared the medal podiums with new stars hoping to get deals. 17-year-old American middleweight Clarissa Shields became the first American to win a gold in Olympic women's boxing. She wants a sponsor. Oh, that would be awesome. I really need some. Because if I plan on staying boxing for, if I plan on staying amateur for four more years, or if I plan on going pro either way, I need some money. <laughs> Disney, uh... Um, PBS Kids. <laughs> Her new gold may make getting a sponsor easier than she thought. In London, I'm Andy Jordan for the Wall Street Journal.